Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Okay. This is Cut the Tape, episode 5,322. The date is November 5th, 1955. All right. Um, the kids aren't here. Okay, so I thought I'd do something a little different with Cut the Tape today. I, th- I-, I would get a whole bunch of stuff, right? And then I have a timer, and I would see how many things I can open every 90 seconds uh, before I either hurt myself, get bored, or... Someone else interrupts me. So, that being said, I got my timer here. All right. Okay, camera. I got my knife. Probably time for a new blade. All right, ready? Every 90 seconds, let's begin. All right, first up, I have Meteor Fire. This is from Transformers, Bumblebee, Cybertronics, Adventures, All Spark Powered, Battle Call. So, voice activated play. I picked this up today. Of course, this is my second one because I have one already downstairs in the basement. All right, one minute. All right, so we have some instructions. We've got some paperwork, probably some uh, warranty paperwork. Don't care about that. Here he is, Meteor Fire. I love the fact that we're getting some new characters. War for Cybertron, I saw the, th- the whole thing yesterday. I was pleasantly surprised, you know? I, I thought sending the arc through uh, a space bridge was pretty clever. 30 seconds. Okay, how do we activate the... Hello, computer. Hello, computer. It's not working. 20 seconds. We've got some battle armor we can put on here. Hello, computer. Does it have batteries? I assume it has batteries in it already. Meteor fire. All right. Uh, this is Warf, uh, This is Earth War for Cybertron Trilogy. This is uh, Decepticon, not Ape Face. So let's. Uh, let's open him up. Paperwork or the media fire. He comes in this. All right. He's got the little. He's got the deep decoder on it. Ass. Should have had my pliers with me. Oh no! Come on. Give me your face. All right. Thirty seconds. Ape face, how crazy is it that in the year 2020 we get a triple changing ape face that's also a headmaster? Now, nowhere on the packaging. Oh, this is Snapdragon, sorry. Now, nowhere on the packaging does it say Horrorcon on it. But this is a pretty solid toy. And you know what? First impression, right out of the box, he's super, super stiff. I love that. He's super stiff. I can pose him any way I want. Uh, All right. This is Studio Series number 60. uh, Construct Tycoon Scrapper? Scraper? I think it's pronounced Scraper. All right. 
is actually pretty tiresome. Here he comes using a plastic tray. Bunch of twist ties here, holding them down. Is that it? Hey, we got them. So, this I think is one of the more interesting Constructicons. We never got this one really before. I mean, there might have been one in like the Legend series. But this is a, this is a way more interesting robot mode. Uh, so with the Constructicons, what I've been doing is I've been getting, uh, well, you know, three of each. Because I like to have one sealed, of course, and then one loose. But then I've also been getting another one so I can have it in combined mode. So it's, uh, it's quite the investment. He's also pretty stiff, which is great. Uh, I found that some of the early studio series, like uh, Shatter, it's just she's wobbly and she... Um, all right, let's switch gears. Uh, Transformer Cyberverse Pro. Instructions. Done with that. Twist ties. No twist ties. No twist ties because it's a cheaper toy? Or because it has less parts that could come off during shipping of the packaging? I'll let you decide. I have my theories on it. So, Prowl. This is a uh, Cyberverse, which I, I guess you could say is also G1, and then Re Reinvention, and then Animated was a G1 Reinvention, and now we have uh, Siege on Netflix, which is a G1 Reinvention, and... I gotta say, I'm happy with Siege, though. Uh, everyone has their... Oh, no. No! My timer just closed on me. This one's a wash. This one's a wash. All right. This one's a wash. So... Everyone's G1. You know what's not G1? Beast Wars. Beast Wars is a G1. And I really like that. I think that's why Beast Wars sticks out so much. Even though, what's crazy about it, it was directly connected to G1. It wasn't a G1 story. It was a Beast Wars story. So, with uh, Kingdom having leaked, that's cool. Look at that. I love stuff like that. So now it's a way of uh, finding how to remold these into like the trigger bots and trigger cons or whatever. Still, I mean, the lack of articulation. I, I mean, I know it's a cheaper price point and it's, it's for younger fans. But I've actually been getting more into these. I think it's because they're cheaper and they're easier to buy. And there really hasn't been much else to buy. All right, let's set the timer back again. Anyway, Beast Wars, completely original. Uh, let's go with uh, some RID, Transformers RID. This is uh, Thermidor, which I believe is the same brand of appliances that I have in my house. And it's a good thing my wife's not here because I'm making a mess. Gonna have to run the Roomba. Thermidor. Uh, Thermidor is a straight repaint of uh, a Decepticon called Patty Cakes, which um, came out the beginning of Transformers R.I.D. Uh, as we know, R.I.D. Uh, originally came out uh, in 2001. So, um, it's been a while since, uh, you know, I'm just getting to these figures now. I do like the fact, I mean, I, I really didn't like the show, but I do like the concept that you have characters 
that transform from vehicle to a animalistic um, robot mode. I thought that was a really great idea. I really like this guy. I, I mean, he definitely comes across as being a, uh, a crap. All right, uh, okay. Here's another oldie, uh, Shad Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider, uh, he was one of the main characters of uh, Transformers uh, uh, Age of the Fallen. Uh, it was a film that came out in movie theaters, but um, not where you live. So don't, don't look it up. You know, I remember watching uh, in the film Age of Extinction in theaters and thinking, so I had left Hasbro right as the script had come in and like some of the art had come in and we knew what the characters were, were gonna look like for the, for the most part. And uh, I remember sitting in the theater, I was by myself, I wanted to go by myself and saying, wow, this wasn't bad. This was not a bad film. And it was the point where the Autobots were getting on to lock down ship to save Optimus Prime. And I thought, wow, this had a story and it's good. And then I realized, oh no, the Dinobots haven't shown up yet. We've got like another hour of this crap. And uh, that was my epiphany that I had in the movie theater. And I wasn't... Uh... Okay. Huge mess. Man, ah, she's gonna be pissed off. Okay, let's go. I was really hoping for uh, this guy to be in the um, Siege Netflix uh, show on Amazon. Uh, this is Hot Road. Uh, funny that RC was in it, but he wasn't. So, I mean, there was a more recent RC toy. And what's up with Astro Train? He kind of showed up in the last episode. Just to, just to walk. So my theory is, and obviously, please don't, you know, kill me if you haven't seen the show yet. Uh, my theory is that that's the proper way to cut it. Astro Train showed up because he followed the Autobots in the arc through the wormhole, through the space bridge. Sorry, space bridge. So um, I think it was just foreshadowing. But what's going to happen, so... Because uh, we all know Astro Train has a space shuttle mode. Here's another figure I've been waiting to open for a while. It seems I've opened every other version of him in the Cyberverse line, except this one. Which, I guess you could make an argument, is the main figure of the Cyberverse line. But now it seems like they're... All right, all right, this is a 2015 exclusive. These have just been sitting around. Uh, I'm just gonna go with purple guy. This is a, uh, uh, -ru 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 -ru. I believe they're from the Arashikagi clan. And, uh, well, that was, that was the easiest thing to open. And he, come, he comes with a little bug. It looks like the bug's already been, he's already breaking out here. All right. Ooh, I'm surprised I haven't cut myself yet. So, uh, oh, I've got some twist ties here around the thorax, which would be an interesting name for a character. I'm gonna name you after a body part. It's like naming a character leg. Anyway, so uh, he kind of looks like um, uh, a wasp eater figure that was supposed to come out in the universe line uh, in Skywarp colors that never got released. I think there was a transmetal version, and there, which I think I have in the basement, and I think there was also a version of, you know, non-transmetal as well. So let's transform this guy. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, Hammer Bite. Uh, I don't think that's right. Hammer Bite. 
Uh, another new character, which I appreciate. Um, oh, I think his name's actually Rip Thrash. Yeah, his name's Rip, Rip Thrash, I'm sorry. Uh, so, open up. Let's just do that. Okay. You know, I kind of like, he's got the god of the, he's got like a little Neptune crown, you know, the god of the sea. Uh, or is it Poseidon? I don't know. So he's got a, oh, it looks like he's got like a shrugging action. Like, am I a new character? I don't know. That's cool though. So he has a uh, head chomping action. So if he doesn't like uh, what you're saying, instead of headbutting you, he'll just bite your face off. So, I like that. Not a, not a lot of uh, face biting going on. Oh, all right. We'll, we'll end with uh, um, Sting, Sting Shoat. Uh, Bumble Bay. So Bumble Bay, obviously one of the more important characters of, uh, of Transformers. Uh, that's why they put his name at the top. Transformers, uh, Bumblebee, Cyberverse, Adventure, Transformers. So I think, I think this is just the routine of King of the King of Killer. So I, I think this is just a straight repaint of a figure that came before uh, from the first wave. There's a ton of variations on the Cyberverse packaging. Uh, there's, uh, it says Cyberverse, and then it says Bumblebee Adventures, and it says Power of the Allspark. So I think you can get like, Bumblebee, Starscream, Optimus, and Megatron carded on all three. And uh, I believe this one, the only difference is this little paint application here on the arms. I believe those are the only differences uh, in it. So. All right, enough of that. Wow. We cut some tape, we smashed some tape, we ripped some tape. We ripped some other things. Um, I just had to clear out some stuff. I had to make some room. So remember, wash your hands, register to vote, buy some stuff, buy some more stuff, play with some of the stuff. Some of the stuff you don't play with because you, you, know, you gotta keep it sealed so that you can sell it 20 years from now for a $5 profit, which, you know, capitalism uh and don't don't be a scalper don't be a, don't be like hey i just bought 15 transformers deloreans and now i'm going to sell them for 500 bucks a pop don't be that person all right don't be you know who you are don't be that person or i'll find you i have my ways all right thank you all very much uh email us at cut the tape at tf doc Dot net. We have a whole network of shows, uh, TFYLP, Transformers for Your Listening Pleasure, Microcasters, Ouch My Wallet, and Mr. Starscream, I don't know, he talks about stuff, I guess. Okay, thank you. <laughs>